Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris here at the Pods, and today I have the Zugu binder pad case review to do for you guys. I thought it was only fair that I included it online. It's kind of their logo, or maybe it's a Griffin or Griffin doll. So basically, I have the review, like I said, of the binder pad by Zugu. A very awesome company. Pretty cool uh, product here. Uh, something that you guys probably have not seen yet. So what do you think? Yeah, he thinks the same thing. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into this. <gasps> Tired of lugging all those clumsy books to class? You should be carrying your iPad too, in this great new case, from Zugu. <gasps> Thanks, Zugu. So a lot of you guys are probably on winter break right now thinking, why would I need a binder case for my iPad? I'm not even in school right now. Well, you're going to be in a matter of weeks. You're going to be back in school eventually, hopefully. So technology is advancing and it's working our ways into our lives in ways and places that we didn't even realize and now it's really getting close to school. And you guys see all the smart boards in schools, if you guys have those. And what this case is going to do is it's going to further that even more. And with the binder pad from Zugu, it's going to allow you to take your iPad 2 and bring it bring it to the classroom, whether it be in, in your binder or in your Trapper Keeper or whatever you want to transport it in a three-ring binder. And as a student, you can use it. As a teacher, you can use it. You can prepare notes on this. You can prepare images. You can do research. You can play games. You can cheat on tests. You can do other things except for cheat on tests, which probably isn't a good thing. I wouldn't recommend cheating on tests. This case... It gives a whole new meaning to an open notes test. The case itself is made out of a polyester. It's a very, very smooth polyester. Uh, it's nothing that you really have to worry about scratching your iPod at all, which is awesome. Uh, you guys see that it has a gray right here. You can also get it in a black. If you check out their website, you can see the black version there as well. On the inside, you guys see here it's a different material. It's much, much softer on here. That's obviously to cushion the back of your iPad. And there is actually a little bit of cushion back there, which I'll show you in a second. You see here on the left-hand side, you have the three rings to fit in any three-ring binder. You have their new Zugu logo, which is really neat. Stands up out of there, 3D. Uh, pretty, pretty cool. I said pretty twice, didn't I? <laughs> that means it's extra pretty. You can see right here you have the outline of the iPad right there So you will get cover of your bezel or whatever color iPad you have. It'll protect that uh, You have your open cutouts on the bottom uh, of the case as well as the top of the case That's where you're gonna be bringing your iPad in with a nice little velcro strap You can see underneath here you have a velcro strap and at the top here you have a velcro strap So just like in their Zugu cases, here's one for example They have that velcro strap that tucks under it will tuck under in the binder pad as well and secure in your iPad. On the back of the case right here, it's just very smooth texture. Um, there is a little bit of padding. I can feel a little bit of padding in there, which is nice to know because you, some of you guys might be worried about, oh, what if I drop my binder? What if I put a textbook on top of my binder? Don't worry about that. You do have a little bit of padding here on the back. Uh, you have a camera cutout as well. You guys can see right through there. You have a camera cutout. And I like they added a little bit of plas a little plastic ring in there, uh, which gives it a little bit more stability. So you don't have to worry about the uh, it fraying anything out there and having little hairs being in your pictures uh, when using this case on your iPad. You can very easily take it out of the binder and you take pictures with it just like you normally would. Or not so normally would because I don't see many people walking around snapping pictures <laughs> on their iPad. All right, so now let's install this bad boy. Very simple. Let's go ahead and take your iPad. Slide it down in there, take this little tab up here, fold it over, push that in, and there you go. You guys have your binder pad. Next step, find a binder. Check! This just happens to be my dad's uh, choir binder. It's the only binder I really have around. What you can do, go ahead and open it up. Let's go ahead and put it in somewhere in the middle here somewhere. Uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and throw it in here. So what you can do, take your binder, take your iPad. Ah! Whoop -ha! Boom, done, cha -ching, ready to go, and we can go to class. Whee! All right, so something really cool about this case, you guys can see, it's hidden right here inside of a binder. Now, what you can do with this, you guys are saying, why do I need an iPad in my binder? Why not? Eh? 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 What you can do now with your iPad in your binder is you can do much more than you normally would be able to do with a normal pen and paper. What you can do is say you're in the library and all the computers are taken, what do you do? You open up your binder, and boom, you have your computer right there. You can do all the research on your iPad in your binder at the same time taking notes, if you're left-handed, lucky, 
Uh, but you can take out a piece of paper and take notes at the same time uh, right in your binder. Take a seat at a desk. You don't even need to use one of the computers, which probably are really slow. So if your school has Wi-Fi or wherever you happen to be that you have your binder on you has Wi-Fi or if you have the 3G iPad, you're definitely in luck and you're going to be able to take notes right in your binder without having to use an external source like a computer. If you're in class, you can go ahead and open up your binder and you can take notes right there. It's probably, personally, I could type faster than I can write. So this would be a huge help to me in college. You're allowed to bring laptops. You're allowed to bring computers into school. Uh, iPads, things like that. You're allowed to bring them in and take your notes on them. I don't know about in high school and middle school and whatever school or uni, whatever you happen to be in, uh, wherever you live, allows them. But in college, uh, I, I can use my laptop, I can bring in my iPad, and this is an awesome, awesome add-on. So what I can do now is instead of going in there and having to find, sift through my notes, where, where were the notes from so-and-so day, what I can do, iPad, search for that date, and boom, I can bring my notes up right there, scroll through my notes, and they'll be right there on my iPad ready to go. Not only students can use this, but teachers can use these as well. Uh, you guys know your teacher brings a binder to class, they take attendance, they do whatever they do in their binders, which I wonder... I wonder what they do in their binders. If you're if you're a teacher out there, let me know what you do in your binder. Actually, my dad's a teacher. I should probably just go ask him. But teachers, what they can do is they can prepare their notes, what they're going to do for class that day, what they're going to talk about for class on that day. Put down here on your iPad. You won't forget it. You won't lose your notes. You won't smudge the ink on the bottom of your hand, which I know you guys hate that. There's no ink smudging when you're using the iPad. You realize at the end of the day, I walked around all day with a blue fist. I'm not a smurf. Should have got the Zugu binder pad. Now something else is you're carrying around all these books. Now in high school, I carried around a lot of books and I had a lot of notes that I carried around, which was a pain and a strain on my back. Oh, see what I did there? Just to carry around all those books in my backpack. And now what they're doing uh, very often, much more often than they used to, is they're loading uh, textbooks onto iPads. They're loading uh, eBooks onto iPads. So the book you have to read for class, boop, one click and you're downloaded. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't add any weight to your iPad. More you know. Doo -doo -doo. I know you've all had that urge to do this in the middle of a class. I know it. Admit it. Admit it. And now with the binder pad, you can. Oh uh, yeah, uh, I have a, I have a question. What's the uh, what's the, uh, no, uh, never never mind. I got it. Yeah, I'm paying attention. Yep. All right. Yeah. Mhm. Mm okay. This case is half an inch thick, so you're really not going to be adding much bulk to your binder at all. Uh, you guys can see here, it adds as much as your paper would. It adds as much as a couple of notes would. So it really is not that worrisome at all. And like I said, it has a little bit of padding, so you don't have to worry about dropping it. And I'm pretty sure as long as you have some paper in there or those folders that can fit in the binder, you don't really have to worry about your iPad being damaged in your folder. As long as you have a hard folder like this, it wouldn't be the best idea to put it in one of these flimsy folders. As you know, they can bend and stuff, and the iPad can flims around. So what I would recommend using is one of these harder folders, or if you guys have one of these trapper keepers, you guys know the ones that zipper up, ones that's not broken and the papers are spilling out. Use one of those. Uh, those are probably going to be your best, your safest bet because that way you're definitely you're zipping your iPad up and you're definitely safe. But this is a really cool product. For $29.99, uh, if, if you're a student that really wants to take notes on their laptop or their iPad now, you know what? You don't need to lug your laptop to class unless you have a MacBook Air. You can take your iPad to class now right in your binder. No one will ever know. So you can, you know, throw the throw around those Angry Birds. Uh, but it's really going to help you be really productive in class, uh, help, help you take your notes a lot faster. So make sure you get your hands on one of these from Zugu's website before winter break is over so you're ready for the new semester, so you're ready for the next part of the year. Um, so yeah, get your hands on this college student, teacher, high school student, middle school student, maybe some kind of student in school, anybody that uses a binder that carries around lots of notes, put them all on your iPad. Stop carrying around all the weight of all those textbooks and all those notes, put them on your iPad, buy the binder pad for the Zoo, from Zuga for the iPad too, and your notes are all right here in this thin little case on this device, and you're good to go. Just one binder, you'll have everything, guys. So, cool invention, cool product by Zugu, definitely check it out. Like I said, $29.99 available on their website. Save yourself some cash order by using the coupon code ITOUCHIPODS. More information on the screen here. Thank you guys for watching. Favorite, comment, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, peace.